Okay, we are live on the Twitch, as the kids don't say. Um, welcome, everybody, to Thursday Night. Thursday Night Therapy. There we go. See what I did there? That's the name of our group, TNT. I didn't bet you didn't know that, the one person who's currently listening. Um, oh, right. yeah. Yep, yep. Um, before we start, Nate, do you, have any, do you need to remind any of your friends that we are, in fact, streaming? Um, because you I... did last time. I have already said to people that we are streaming, and people should have their notifications on! That's who. I, I, I see the little black avatar is already saying, Hi! Hello. Tis I! Hello! She's wonderful! Hello, Black! She's, yep, she is, uh, <sighs> she's, our number, she is our number one fan currently, because um, she's the only that one who was up. astonishingly fast. Almost yeah. as if people are <laughs> waiting for us. Yeah! Yes. Yeah, I mean, okay. I... I, I, I dismissed that as an even as a possibility but now i'm having yeah. second thoughts we, we now have 100 percent more um viewership than we did previously <laughs> it and uh, welcome to thursday night jazz with oh. tnt nerds oh. oh my god i've uh I, I had i had a bit of a quiver there i have to admit um mm -hmm. in your loins uh, or in your uh, bowels I, I am at half mast <laughs> um, uh, wrong campaign wrong campaign no 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 right campaign um yes so yes welcome everyone to uh thursday night therapy we are uh part two of the one shot oxymoron there i like it um this is the barber of silvery moon <laughs> so uh quick the before we start so see uh the maps in this little one shot were made um using assets from forgotten adventures uh, for, forgotten hyphen adventures dot net using dungeon draft a wonderful little program for making maps of all shapes and sizes music in uh, involved involved featured here uh, is <laughs> some of it's by Clevin, kevin mcleod and some but the rest of it's by me um so yes i hope you enjoy the show everybody uh thank you for joining us this evening very nice of you uh, to spend your hard-earned Time, hard and time is not the right, not not phrase. Spare time. I think okay. time is hard and I think that's relevant. <laughs> it's, it's hard and the fact that we're all still alive. <laughs> yes. Um, that's uh, very true and also slightly dark, but we like it that way. We like it that Bleak. way. Bleak, bleak and dark. Let's look, I like my, I like my 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 life like I like my men and my coffee, uh, slightly dark and also with a giant penis. Um, so we are. Starting because the music has started. So last week, three members of the Seekers from Breath of Tower were sent to the little hamlet of Silvery Moon to investigate some strange goings on. People were going missing. Sometimes they stayed missing. Other times they returned, having no memory of ever having gone missing. But having wonderfully fabulous haircuts when they did. <laughs> I was asking around. The group uh, was pointed towards the only relevant barber in town. Uh, that being Juge. Uh, and there's a little uh, barber shop on the outskirts uh, where he lived with his daughter. Uh, upon <coughs> checking, the, checking the place out, they found that Juge had a rather strange pet in the back garden, um, being a very large flail snail. Uh, a bit of investigation later, uh, and the, the daughter, Mop, um, took one of the men, one of the team aside to whisper that weird things were going on in the evenings. She heard voices downstairs in in a tongue that she didn't recognise. It started to scare her, and she wanted to, the uh, the nice people to come back and help her. So, waiting until midnight, the group returned to the barbers. Looking through the windows, they saw Juge, but subtly changed. His, his bearing before had been slightly unfocused, misty almost. Didn't seem to be quite all there. Now, however, he's barking out orders to s small purplish humanoids who are running around and doing his bidding. Um, subtly entering the building through some <laughs> reverse defenestration through a window. Um, there was a, a short scuffle. The uh, small creatures, which were discovered to be Zvarts, were dispatched. Uh, as the group surrounded Juge, he turned invisible and escaped through a hitherto unnoticed trapdoor that during the day would have been below the barber's chair. <laughs> Descending down into the uh, 
trapdoor, they found a stone staircase down into what appeared to be a guard room of sorts of uh, Fildusvats. Making short work of the enemy. Uh, one of them escaped to raise the alarm in the, in the next room. Following through, our adventurers stepped out into a, sh a little shop of horrors. Uh, heads adorned benches with, with haircuts. Uh, Svarts filled the room. Strange goings on. And as you stand there blinking in the light of the torches, I'm going to ask you all to roll initiative, please. Hell yeah. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Straight in. Straight in with the murder. Straight in with the murder. That's That was the title. Oh, of, that will uh, be no, an eight. No. <clears throat> A twelve for Deander. Don't, don't forget to click your your um, guy before. I had it selected. <laughs> I, I, I definitely had it selected. Honest, Gov. Honest uh, Gov. Are you? How are you rolling? Uh, that would be why it's not coming up because it's not a designated initiative. Oh, so it's not a script. I'm not using any scripts. No. Well, that'd be why. That would be why. But I rolled it up to twenty, so I would I would like to keep that, please. No, no, no I'm going to make you roll again. <laughs> sure, oh, um, a, a small point of note: this is Nads. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> I promise, this is Nads. I I just have a very bad cold, so apologies for that. <laughs> I was about to say he sucked off an elephant, but with the ander in the room, that's a little bit um on the nose. Yeah, to or something else. Well, I'm not even going to go there. That's that, that, that's just <laughs> too easy. That's too easy. That's what she said. Uh, all right. <laughs> that's not what Nad said. Elephant dick. Woo! I can take it. That's a, there is a lot of drunk in that particular trunk. All right then. Um, oh, there is. Okay, so starting out, we have Kobo. Oh, we fucked up. Um. <laughs> I'm looking left and right wildly. Uh, I can also see my companions behind me. And I can see what I can only assume are severed heads on the table in front of me. Yes, um, a brief uh, glance over will see that they appear to be preserved actual heads mm. um, with, um, with very, very, very flamboyant haircuts. Well. Spooky. Okay. I'm going to jump up onto the corner of this table and fly and kick the one to the left of me in, in nice. my head. Very, very nice. A 20 will hit, I assume? A little bit. Six damage. Was that this one? <coughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, this one is the one that escaped the previous route. Um, it was already damaged, so yes, you, you basically caught it unawares. So as you fly off the table, catching it inside the head, it crumples to the floor uh, and does not get back up. I would like to use my second attack to slash uh, my sh short sword at the one below me. That's a miss. Ten. Uh, then I guess I'm going to <coughs> fuck it. Uh, flurry of blows. Um, can I use my sword for that? I guess I, I can. Believe a, I, be, I believe a flurry of blows can only be done after an unarmed strike, um, uh, which is your kick, which that would be fine. But I don't yeah. think you're, you're, I don't think you're, I don't think your flurry of blows can be. So you can only do an unarmed strike with flurry of blows. Yeah, unarmed it's strikes, only unarmed. That doesn't actually make any difference in terms of numbers. So <laughs> two strikes, uh, an eighteen and a sixteen. Mm. Both hit? Yep. Then that is a... Oh, I've rolled incorrectly. A four and uh, a two. So six damage total. Yep, you, you, you twat it twice extremely hard. It looks very, 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 very battered, but it's still <laughs> just standing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's my turn then. Okay. So uh, as you do your... Uh, martial arts flying off the table and striking the uh, creature down there the uh, hitherto un unnoticed spot that was stood around the corner uh, comes up behind you and it takes a swipe of it with advantage 
Uh, 20? Yes. Okay, that is a three piercing damage. Okay. Okay, and li- that's literally it. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the one that you're currently in combat with. Short sword. Uh, I'm natural one. You have a, you have battered the shit out of it, so it's just like. Is <laughs> <laughs> it as in, in effect? It ineffectually flails at you. All right. Uh, the ender. <laughs> well, this seems interesting. Uh, point of note, DM sir, could I have my uh, my wildfire spirits, please? <laughs> yeah, that one. <clears throat> Just assign that to you. There you go. You should be able to click it now. Beautiful. Wonderful. So it is still wrapped around my uh, my spear, staff, walking stick thing, uh, and we are going to step forward and go. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is pleasant. Uh, And I'm going to look at the ones that are being fought by my comrade. And I'm going to step. uh, Actually, I'm just going to look at them. Uh, And I can only rotate the snake, so I'm... Never mind. (coughs) I'm looking at them. I swear. All right. And I am going to produce flame. At the one that is behind, my friend. Okay. Does a 16 hit? That's a 16 does it, yes. Eight fire damage. All right. Uh, That one, uh, as the flame strikes it, its skin blackens, begins to give off a foul-smelling, greasy smoke as it falls to the ground in a smoldering heap. Wonderful. <clears throat> and I suppose I'm going to look across the table at this other one and go I suppose you'd like some too and I'm going to point the staff at it and my uh, wildfire spirit is going to spit fire Yikes. with a natural one <laughs> that's going to miss I'm afraid <laughs> I presumed as much um, so... Brain, brain, brain. Brain, brain. Brain, 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 brain. <laughs> um... Uh... I am looking at my character sheet to see what the <clears throat> fuck happens. <clears throat> uh... Brain, brain, brain. Yeah, that is an action. Never mind, it's not a bonus action. In that case, I am done. Okay. All right. So as you uh, as you spit fire up against the wall, uh, let's see. Okay. As you uh, as your attention is diverted over here, uh, can you all give me perception checks, please? All of us. Yep. Perception. Uh, possibly a disadvantage for you, Nads, because of you being around the corner. Okay. Is it something that my smell no. can help me with? No, <laughs> Damn it! Smell. My trunk is ineffectual. That is me. Oh well, I'm not going to bother rolling the other die. That's a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> and the other wasn't eleven. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. <yeah>, so, <laughs> Kobo. Uh, despite being locked in combat, you will notice that across the room over here um, a door set in the wall appears to open and close by itself where these colours are here I can't see you are pinging on the wrong layer yeah oh Oh. never mind there oh there aha to the right to the right to the right everything you own in the box to the right um okay so sorry what did I see a door Close. Opening, and, opening and closing. Okay. It okay. opens up. I stays open for a second and closes again. I'll be that okay. invisible bastard. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Av interest, when someone is invisible, if they cast a spell, do they, do they become visible again? Yes. Okay. I thought that was the case. I just want to check. So, as you as you watch, you see the door open and close. And... I don't know why that song is playing again. Um, the zhuzh that you noticed from... Um, uh, that you met upstairs reappears. Points to a spot far beyond where you're currently standing. And mutters an incantation. That doesn't sound good. So, I would like you to all give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Mm. That is a 19. That's a save. A 15 for Deander. That's also a save. Oh, that's a, another dirty 20. Nice. Oh, and you're safe. I Screw like it. Along, yeah. <laughs> Low. No effect on a save, right? Uh, yeah, no effect. And uh, hilariously, the only ones that are affected are my own ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> apart from that one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, um, standing there and casting a spell, he then sees that the spell hasn't had any effect on any of you. Uh, swears under his breath in abyssal um, because it is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful language for swearing in. Um, so I understand then, it then. Yes, <laughs> it, it, it's pretty foul. Um, stands there and then uh, grinds his teeth and doesn't, isn't able to do anything else. All right, uh, Phoenix. Um, right. So, uh, would my shield of faith be over? Yes. Yeah, I think we discussed that at the end of the last. Yes. Last, uh, um, in that case, I am going to use Shield of Faith again. Um, do so. I have cast Shield of Faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops! I then he did it twice. Okay, double double your shield. Hmm. That's not. <laughs> um. And I am going to move into the room in here. Oh, hello. Uh, ooh, this is a new beastie. I'm going to move right here. Um, hmm. <clears throat> oh, use an action. Yep. Oh, uh, you should use a bonus action. Sorry? Bonus action. Uh, Shield of Faith is a bonus action. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. So I get two attacks. Now I'm guessing that this dude here is not very nice. Yeah. So um, before you, you see um, quite a, quite a short um, creature. It's uh, got very uh, sallow skin, kind of lank white hair coming from underneath its blood red cap. Um, looking closely, and you can also smell a, a coppery tang coming off it. And mm -hmm. it does in fact appear that the cap is red because it is soaked in blood. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Um, well, that doesn't ever spell anything good, so with my battle axe. Um, oh, wait. Spells count as an attack, don't they? Uh, depending what they are. And well, yeah, I mean, depends what the spell is. Inflict wounds. Yeah. Yes, it is a spell attack. I am yeah. going to touch him inappropriately. Oh, my. Well, reach out and touch. It's a 24 guy. That one. Ooh! Ho -ho! Okie dokie. Uh, so that's 18 uh, damage. Necrotic Not damage. bad. Necrotic. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it says 3d10, but there's 6 on the screen. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. Well, the math uh... is correct on the yeah. thing. It does say 3d10. Yep, I don't know why that happened, but yeah, so that's, um, yeah, that's 18 necrotic damage on that. Yep. Yeah. Reach out and touch him, and in, on the exposed, kind of very dirty, salad flesh, you see it starting to blacken and crack as it creeps up, up the area that you touched. It recoils like... <laughs> Dragon thing! 
and then I am going to follow through with a smack of my battle axe. Uh, you can't necessarily do that. <clears throat> no? no. You, got, you, get, you get two attacks as an action, or you get a spell. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's an well. attack action, or the action to cast a spell. Okay. Uh, let me just check something. And I was there. No, I wasn't. I was here, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hop over th between these guys. I'm going to take the attack of opportunity off of the, uh, the little goblin guy, and I'm going to stand between these two. Uh, that's 20 to hit. Does not hit. Okay. Ha! And that is my turn. Alright. Okay. It is now the uh, creature that um, just took a swipe at you and, and uh, clanged off of your armor. Um, he is going to follow you around. Engage with you again. Because it worked so well last time. <laughs> ah, well, I ain't going to do shit. No. Alright. So it's this one's turn, and as you as you see it, look, looking around, you can see that its movements are treacle-like. It is looking backwards and forwards between the two groups now, and it's just slowly looking backwards and forwards, it's slowly trying to make a decision as to what to do. And in in, in slow motion, it climbs up onto the table. And then down the other side, <laughs> comes around, brings its sword up very slowly, and brings it down up against the under to try and make an attack. Does the 19 hit? Ow! Oh. <laughs> Um, I think I don't, I don't think they get a disadvantage with attacks. They were slow. I think it's just um, um, it's a minus, minus to AC and dexterity. Uh, he can either use an action or bonus action, and not both. Yeah, but yeah, no. And no it can only make one melee attack. So yeah, yeah. but no disadvantage. Right, no there disadvantage. You go. So seven points of piercing damage. Oh, indeed. Well, that wasn't very nice. Ow! Indeed. Oh, but only the bog there. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of Bonk is always with us. The spirit of Bonk is indeed with us, and it's fucking angry now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is its turn. <coughs> now, the uh, creature that you uh, touched inappropriately, Nancy, is now stood behind you. This. And has a very large uh, sickle. You know, it looks like a scythe in the picture, but uh -huh. it, it, it's, it's a sickle. Yep. Uh, so he, he, now hand, he now has advantage on you. Yep. 13 is going to miss. No. <laughs> 8 is going to miss. Yeah. 22? 22 is my AC. So that hits. So that is 12 slashing damage. Ow. 12. <clears throat> that was literally the maximum damage it could, it could have done. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so you hear two ringing crashes off the back of your back and don't even flinch, and then suddenly a sharp pain as he finds a, a crease in the armor, or a hole that you weren't aware of it before in, in, your, in, in the back area, and you feel the blade slide into your flesh. Yay. Ow. Um, Ow. I'll uh, right. look back at him and just chuckle. <laughs> and, <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> back, to, back to Kobo. Yeah. Uh, pardon. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I would like to. I'd like to start this turn by front kicking this guy into the wall. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and Ooh. yes, you do that, and then some. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, shall I roll? I mean, do it. Yeah, roll it. So it's three plus the six, massive nine. nine. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 me. <laughs> it was only on one HP anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and it slowed as well. So yeah, you 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 kick it into the wall, 
and then your foot keeps on going until you reach the wooden panelling behind it. I see. Okay. And then you kind now, of move your foot with a sucking motion. I assume I can now move before making my second attack. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. So I'm going to jump up onto the table, hopping over these heads, grimacing while I do. <laughs> and I'll get yeah, to yeah. here. And I guess I just make my second attack. Uh, 17. That hits. And that will be three points of damage. Three points of damage. And I'll just, oh, from this very advantageous position of the table, I'm just going to use my bonus action to kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. I like it. Good plan. Solid plan. Uh, that hits. Uh, 11. Oh, really? Yeah, he's minus two AC. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, slow fucked him. There we go then. Punted him in the nozzle. In the nozzle. Oh, yeah, you um, you you kick his head so hard that it smashes off the wall behind it, and as it slides down slowly, this leaves a streak of purple and black blood and brains. <clears throat> Very nice. Well, you, while Kobo fights, you see him kind of grimacing. He, I mean, you can see he's obviously well trained by the way he moves but at the same time you can see he seems very uncomfortable uh, and almost reluctant in what he's doing Bobo takes no pleasure in what he does yeah and, and that will end my turn well then and the under thank you friend and I'm gonna move up a little bit <clears throat> Uh, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to move, I'm just going to move up a little bit. I'm then going to, oh, what do I do? This could be fun. I'm going to slam my staff, uh, or my spear onto the ground and a ball of raging inferno. (laughs) is going to appear encompassing this lovely gentleman as I cast Flaming Sphere. Thanks. <laughs> and roll a pitiful two damage. That's if he saves. But there is a a five foot sphere of fire on top of him. Uh, that's a save. So he'll take half damage, which will be one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, slightly singed. There, there is there is a whiff of burnt hair. It's a it's a little disappointing. I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to rub salt in the wound or anything, but <laughs> that that's a bit. That's a that's a D minus. Could have done better. Yeah. Uh, and while summoning that, I am then going to. Uh. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let my my snake spit a dickhead over here. Uh, would he get advantage? As I've got my friend on the other side of him, or no? I. Mm, you're not actually in direct <sighs> combat, and we've, not- we've we've always done it that um, the person you know, to get advantage, the other person has to be directly on the opposite side, as opposed to diagonally. That's fair. I will just. I'll leave it there. Then I'll just have the normal attack. As my snake spits fire! Fire! 17. 17 will hit. Wonderful. And that will do. Uh, I should have got this particular roll up already. There we go. That will do. Eight points of fire damage! (laughs) As before, the, the fire encompasses the small figure in front of you. Uh, the skin blackens. There is a very un- unpleasant smell of burning flesh, and uh, uh, the creature crumples to the floor. No, no, I, I was attacking this one. Oh, in that case, uh, rewind all that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to add him back into the. Oh shit! I deleted this thing from the turn order. Ah, just uh, murder him. He's fine. I'll just take the attack to him. It's easier. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Ah, for, for a brief second there, he looked like he was fine, but then he wasn't. Um, and that, my friend, 
uh, is that? So, standing before you, the uh, the the Jews that you have um, recently encountered look you dead in the eye, Phoenix, and says, you can't you can't interrupt the operation. And he is going to cast Toll the Dead. Uh, can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's an 11. That's a fail. So it is. What is it if, um, if they're if they're, if they're taking damage, it's 2d12. Uh, it would be the d12s rather than the yeah. d8s if I they've already them. taken some damage. I need to take the. I need to do two d12s. There you go. So you take nine points of necrotic damage. Nine points of necrotic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Please, sir, may I have another. Um, all right. Uh, I, unable to move from his current position, uh, he's, he's going to end his turn there. So it is. He uh, will make uh, a dexterity saving throw then at the end of his turn, uh, as he is encompassed in a flaming sphere. Still, it's a concentration spell, sir. Ah. Uh-huh. That is fifteen. Uh, he would take half damage for the 2d6 as he beats my save. Okay. Is, uh, we, r- we round up in this house, so that's uh, three. Three fire damage! More singe taps. Owie! Alright. Uh, yeah, so Phoenix will go. Okay. Um... Phoenix would also know that if he's within five feet of the sphere at the end of his turn, he'll get burnt too. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Alrighty. He would know that. He would have seen the Anther cast this before. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Well. I'm going to. Ah. Uh. Um, hmm. I'm going to use uh, lay on. Can I use lay on hands on myself? I yeah. believe so. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use that to give myself 23 points of healing. Fucking wow. hour. <laughs> Minute. 23. Oh wait, why? Why has that gone down to 30? Oh yeah, because I changed it. I've been changing on my character sheet and not on my thing. So add... What did I say? 23? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm back up to full hit points. That's one action. Um, and as... My next action... Hmm. Is, it, is they on hands bonus, is it? No, it's an action actually, so I can't attack. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you have a bonus action and a movement? What's that do? Concentration. Ah, bollocks. Uh, sorry, you a second to get my. Yeah, no. I don't really have anything else I can do. Um. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move back here then, and take okay. an uh, attack of opportunity. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Uh, well, I mean, that's not going to hit anyway, so never mind. <laughs> he slices it with his dagger and just, just, just gets nothing but air. That's an action as well. I can't do that. Yeah, it's all actions. None of them are bonus. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm done. Okay. So red caps turn. So Juge uh, screams over at the, um, the, the, the the red the red capped creature in front of me, saying, "Get him in the machine! Burn his head off!" Ooh. And the um, red cap is going to attempt to grapple you. Okay. 
So give me an uh, athletics save, please. Athletics. Oh, a strength save or an athletics check? Um, that's a good question, actually. Nate? Uh, strength save athletics, or athletics? Athletics yeah. check to be a um, opposed grapple. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's good, because that's the better one of the two. <laughs> like it fucking matters. Yeah, nah. Right. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so you are grappled. Oof. Yep. Now then, uh, uh, so the question is: when, whether when a when a character is grappled, can the other the, can the grappler drag a person along? Up to half their movement, yes. Up to half their movement. All right then. Okay. Let's see how far that is. Big caps are pretty fast, eh? Not particularly. Uh, let me just double check that's the right one. No, not quite. Um. Remember, we do round up here. Um, okay, so... Oops, did I just move the map then? No, I didn't. Okay. No, we're good. Good, good. <coughs> so, that, that, that. Okay. So, he, start, he begins to drag you back here. Getting you as far as the area just in front of this machine okay. and as you look up you see a machine that's that, that is touching the ceiling mm. it's it's black metal with runes inscribed in it and, and in the front of it it's a similar chair to what you saw in the barber shop <laughs> um up on up on the surface except that the um the the, the pillar that it is attached to is embedded in the floor in one of the grooves that you've, you've followed down here yeah and it is locked into place in front of this machine yeah. Um, and above the uh, where the where the headrest is um, is a metal uh, cone, a hollow cone which is attached to the machine itself um, that looks like it could fit over a head. Of course, yeah, no worries. So that is its action, and that is it done. <laughs> Kobo. Uh, I'm. I must save my friend. Um. Or could I like, like, wall walk, hop, off? Oh, I've gone, hop, skip on that, and then try and can I reach him from there? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, you're now as long as you move, use your movement, that's fine. But, you know, if you dash, obviously you can't take an action, but you shouldn't need to. So, no, it's only two squares. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to try and kill him. So I'm gonna. Jump, uh, skip off the wall, and thrust down my short sword as I uh, land beside them. Uh, a six is not going to hit, is it? No. Okay, my second attack is a twenty. Well hit. <laughs> okay, flurry, flurry of blows, flurry of blows. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to like put my hand almost between the two of them uh, bracing myself and then I'm just going to start wailing on this gnome's head uh, with my fist uh, so that's two shots uh, a 14 and a 22 both hit then that's five and another five okay yep you and batter it and you kick it and you punch it it's yeah, still standing and it's and does he? Um, I'm guessing because he's not the one trying to break the grapple, then the grapple remains. He doesn't need to do another athletics check. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think if I'd have actively tried to break the grapple, then yeah, mm. but I, I didn't. I was just trying to hurt him. <laughs> All right. All right then. Yep. So yeah, it's still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my turn then. All right. The under. Okay. So. Uh, my... Well, let me... Hold on. So, Deander is going to move to the centre of the room and whisper to his snake, uh, go help them, please. Uh, and the snake is going to slither on the ground and wrap uh, up uh, the lovely Dragonborn's sword arm and just sit there for a moment. And as Deander's action, he's gonna ruin someone's day. 
mainly this little bitch. Uh, produce flame at the crotch area of the man who is already being set on fire by a giant glowing ball of fire. <laughs> I mean, g- gently singed, apparently. A 13. Uh, that's going to miss. Ah, shit. He's got fast feet. Uh, and as a bonus action, I will do nothing. But uh, I will say that then the wildfire spirit is going to wrap from still holding on to uh, Dee Dee's wrist, is going to extend over and grab Kobo. Uh, and I'm going to ask Are both of my friends willing targets? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, you are both, if you are both willing. Yeah, okay. I, I'm uh, assuming it's something good. Uh, well, yes. Uh, <laughs> if you are both willing, you are going to be both be teleported 15 feet uh, north. Oh, nice. <laughs> with, my, with the snake. So, breaking the grapple. So you'll be teleported in line with the snake up there. And when I leave, when the snake leaves the uh, space, anyone within a five feet space of where it used to be uh, is going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. Wow, that's just rude. <laughs> Kobo needs to move up as well. Yes, Kobo needs right. to end up here. Kobo need to move. Uh, that's a save. Uh, you will take no damage. Okay. As uh, they teleport in a sort of fiery flash, and the flames just seem to sizzle harmlessly around the, uh, the red cap. Uh, and Deander will look over his shoulder as the snake comes back to him. Oh, hello, friends. Are you all right? And that's me. I would role play, but I have to reserve my words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right then. So, sit, having seen this display and uh, of the uh, Dragonborn being so close to being put in the machine, but just just managing to scrape out of it at the last second, uh, the Juge grinds his teeth and puts his hand out towards you. And as he does so, uh, let me just make sure I've got the range for this. Yes. Uh, as he does so, um, green liquid sprays from his fingers, um, hitting uh, Deander and Phoenix next to him. Is it acid? Will it also hit my... So, ah, yeah. just choose creatures. Two yeah, creatures choose within range. Yeah, so um, it will be uh, Deander and uh, Phoenix, so it won't be the snake. So right. make a dexterity saving throw, please. Dexterity saving throw. Not okay. good. 13. Fail. 13. I'm Fail. resistant Fail. to Fail. acid. Alright, so uh, you. I'm say... not! <laughs> Deander takes 11 um, acid damage and um, Phoenix takes 6. six Starts damage. eating my way at my trunk and I start sneezing. Ow! <laughs> okay. Uh, and with that. Um, Juge opens the door behind him and it disappears and closes it behind him. Okay. Nine. And it's Kobo. Uh, are you sure? No. Phoenix. <laughs> uh, right. Hmm. He's disappeared, but I know that this mofo is a problem and there's also a big flaming ball of fire here still okay so we can't actually go there anyway yeah <clears throat> you can't you just have to run through the ball of fire and that might not be the best idea yeah fair let me just see mm. right okay I'm just gonna charge this guy um <clears throat> 
Right, I'd like to try to do something here. Okay. Could I try to grapple him and shove his head in the cone? Can indeed. I'm going to try and do that. Would that be athletics, yes? It would indeed, yes. Contested athletics. It's an 18. Oh, get on. Oh. Get on. Yep, that's, oh. that's successful. Oh, dear. All right, so you, you push him backwards and sit him on the seat, mm -hmm. pulling the cone down over his head. Yep, and then... Give as me... A, give, yeah. I was about to say, give me a perception check. Perception. In the, in this uh, in this, this snap decision. Three. Oh, yeah. All right, so you pull the cone down on his head. Nothing happens. No, but I was assuming that lever would do something. I was going to kick <laughs> it as my other action. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Uh, right, in that case... Give me so because you haven't noticed what is on the lever. Yeah. Can you give? Can you run me a one d four, please? One d four. Yeah. A four. A four. Okay. That doesn't so, sound good. You kick the lever and it rocks all the way back to its last setting. Uh huh. The flames inside the machine immediately brighten and you hear a roaring sound flame bursts out of the cone directly down on top of the head of the creature mm. but with such a force that it also fires 10 feet in all directions. from it, and yeah. it no, well <laughs> directly in front of it uh -huh. so um can you give me a constitution saving throw please yeah i could try <laughs> Uh, that is an eight. Uh, no, that's a fail. Uh, that's a save for him. Oh man! That's All right. So um, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me just double check the distance on this. Will would it? Because that's the, there. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. Deander and your snake. Can you both give me um, Constitution saves, please? Sorry. Oh, you serious? <laughs> Going all the way up. It's ten feet from the. Uh, from this block, basically. That's fifteen up there. Uh, it depends on. Uh, I see. I did. I've. I've got the the seat. Oh no! I went. I'm on the wrong bloody thing again. That the seat is there. Oh no! It is only ten feet. Okay. I've, yeah. I, mis I mis misjudged that one. Okay. Fine. Yeah. No. No. In that case, never mind. Just me. Okay. Nads. This. Let me just get the advanced dice roller out. Huh. Let me just double check that. So that is that. What, what, what the fuck? Okay! <clears throat> Picked 27 points of fire damage. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Fine with me. Um. Right, so yeah, the creature in the chair just immolates immediately. It just You just hear a <laughs> long, drawn-out scream as it is cooked from the brain downwards. Excellent. Uh, leaving a blackened skeleton sitting in the chair. Which just slumps and doesn't oh, go really? anywhere. You're not resistant to fire, are you? No, only acid. Oh, okay. oh shit! Should I have been making uh, con checks for my shield effect? Mm. Yeah. Oh balls! Every, every time you took a hit. Oh balls! <laughs> but that's my fault. I should I should have noticed as well. But I'll do one now then. Mm -hmm. Oh, you son of a bitch! There goes shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, we uh, just we just saw Diddy get engulfed by flames for a yeah, moment. The, yeah, <laughs> flames flew out, um, basically engulfing him entirely. And then once they died down again, he's still standing, but singed quite badly. And the creature that was in the chair has just become a blackened skeleton. I just turn around, um, and look at the other guys, and go, "Worth it." <laughs> oh, Diddy! What? Are we staying in, in order? Uh, yes, yes, you're still okay. in order. That's uh, technically so that my turn. It is your turn next. I would then, uh, with a great look of concern on my face, I'm going to push past, cruising through the table. I'm going to knock this head off of the bench <laughs> and basically grab Dee Dee and sit him down on this. I sh is it a shelf or like a bench? It's a. It's basically a. a um, it's 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 a, a shelf bench. It's it's okay. slightly higher than a bench would be, but so so it is displaying the head. Yeah, is I, it a I, bell I... for a shench? <laughs> it's a it's a shench. 
I would Shep, I would push wonderful. him so he is sat on the on the corner of this bench. Okay. Oh, did you? You look terrible. Hey, hold still, hold still. And you see me open my pack. I'm frantically going to take out some uh, some gauze and some strange ointment that I begin to uh, put on your wounds, mm-hmm. and I am able to heal you. One second. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. Fourteen points. Oh, of shit. Of health. Thank okay, you. Not too shabby. Fourteen. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, that will be my turns if we're still in order. <coughs> yep. Perfect. Uh, as I said, you see a this intense look of uh, uh, concern on his face but also you see him almost more concentrated now than he was when he was actually fighting it would seem hmm interesting the right. uh I would like for my snake to uh if I can have the right thing selected my snake is going to fly through and is it? Can it push open the door? Uh, it's on a latch, so would it be able to lift the latch? I don't know. Will it? <laughs> Is it smart enough for that? Uh, it's got an intelligence of thirteen. It's smarter than me. <laughs> In that case, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so it'll open the latch. What do we see through the door? Or what does it see through the door? Aha! Uh. Huh. uh there is a certain dickhead there. <laughs> certain dickhead. Uh, the main dickhead. Mm-hmm. And Deander is going to use his bonus action to sort of wave the staff a little bit. Uh, and the ball of fire is going to speed from this particular position directly into him. Okay. And I'd like him to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. That's safe. He will take half damage. Three. Three. Okay. Hold on. I need to do something else quickly as well. Please be standing by. Can I have a little red circle? Is that okay? <clears throat> in, in, a, no, in a moment. No, no red circles for you. You haven't, you haven't earned them. <laughs> As I, sh- so I know where my. You, you can draw one, can't you? Yeah. yeah. You can. can I still? Can I move it? Oh, I can move it even better. That is my so flaming, is it, flaming so is it, It's only in that five um, foot circle, is it? Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. It's in a. It is a five foot square of fire, but it's in a sphere. Ah, okay. Then I shall stop Um, moving. uh, And when something ends its turn within five feet of it, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Right, okay. AFK, a second. Okay. Uh, Deander is then going to use his action. Um, After saying, He's still here, friends. Uh, his action is going to be to throw more fire! There's, there's a theme here. <laughs> reduce flame again at the dickhead. Does a 15 hit? It does indeed. Fuck! Yes! And uh, that is a 12 damage. Yep, so he is looking mightily singed now. Bits of his skin are now blackening and starting to ooze with a clear liquid. He, he's, he's not looking one. He's not particularly, looking particularly good. Is he standing on a rug? Yes. <laughs> It's on fire now. Okay. Uh, uh, no, that's that's rules as written. That is oh. that is flaming sphere. <laughs> <laughs> Anything the flaming sphere touches that is not uh, carried or worn is set and set alight. Ignites flammable objects. Mm. Everything everything the light touches is now on fire. Pretty fucking much. Uh, and then the snake is going to spit at him. 
uh, and I will roll the thing for the snake. The snake attacks with a 21! A hit. The snake does damage of a 5! Alright, yeah, he's not looking great. Wonderful. Uh, and that is me. Okay, so from your from your view, uh, your vantage point, you can see the now very burnt and very ill-looking Juge turn to one side and begin to fiddle with something just out of shot, and you can hear him talking and. Uh, what language do you speak? Uh, I speak common druidic elvish goblin sylvan. Okay. What about the rest of us? What about the rest of you? Uh, abyssal, common, draconic, and infernal. Okay. Kobo? Common and goblin. Alright, so yeah, so all of you will hear him going... <laughs> he needs a fucking cough drop. Yep. <laughs> and you hear, um, you can hear the, the sound of latches being undone. That doesn't sound good. Oh shit! Let's add these guys into the turn order. I noticed that was plural. Be prepared, friends. Huh. Oh, well, that's a natural twenty. What a waste! Is that? Another ah. natural twenty. That's ridiculous. Look at that. Jesus. Wrong. Uh, Alright, so that'll be his. Um, do, do we have an issue with that being a bonus action to, to turn and unlatch something? Or nope. that, would that be an action? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that can be a bonus action. Alright. So, um, having been spat fire at by the fire snake in front of him, um, that just is fucking bullshit. Uh, he extends his hand and uh, lines of force fly out to attack the snake. Eh! Yeah. one misses. <coughs> uh, 23? What, against my snake? Against your snake, yes. You prick! Yeah. I mean, it hits, obviously. Yes. Uh, so that's 10 points of force damage. Uh, okay. Right then. Uh, that is his turn, and uh, Phoenix. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm oh, still no, oh, dabbing. Sorry. He needs to do a uh, dexterity save because he's still it in the sphere. Does indeed. Oh, that's a fail. It is a fail. I'll actually take full fucking damage. Let me find the thing to roll the damage with. Ten fire damage. So uh, after after having extended this hand, firing off this this force blast at your uh, snake, you see that the, the the sphere of fire that was has been hanging there suddenly takes hold and sinks down into him, and you can hear and smell with your very sensitive trunk uh, the smell of pork being uh, fried. Um, as his skin begins to blacken and cook off, and the flame envelops him. Hooray! And with, a, with a final scream, he drops to the floor, smouldering on the burning rug. Fuck yeah! Shit. Mm, it's been so very long since we've had a long pig. Oh, I... Fuck! Do I see this? <laughs> um, from your vantage point? Well, I mean, can, can you see him? I can't just see him yet. Yeah, then yes, you yeah. can. Like, oh, I promise this dot I bring him back alive. We still can. Well, <coughs> sorry about that. Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. <coughs> so, Didi, I believe it's your turn. Oh, is it mine? Yeah, you you step into action, and I, I'm still dabbing at your face with my ointment-covered 
gauze, like a, you know, like an anchor being mm. dabbed with makeup, yeah. like seconds before <laughs> it goes on air. <laughs> okay, I um, I gently lower your hand from my face and go, "Thank you, but there is still work to be done." <clears throat> Sorry, this voice is getting worse. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna come. Ooh. Do I know where the uh, sounds were coming from? Latches opening. I can't in, see anything. In the room. <clears throat> in the room that he was in? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, excellent. Ooh. Boom. Ah. Hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, doesn't sound good. Right. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to use Channel Divinity. Dreadful Aspect. Ooh. That sounds fun. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That didn't click the uh, thing. Ah, here we go. DC 14 and wisdom saving throw, please. Each of them. Gosh. There we go. First one fails. Uh huh. Second one fails. Uh huh. Third one fails. Wondrous. What have you done? It's kind of like, like Gandalf in the first film where he like. Rudo Baggins. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and I'm going yeah, to move so build out, it, build it, Baggins, yeah. out of the room and go. How about it? <laughs> okay. uh, what, uh, what, uh, what now? How about it? How <laughs> about it? Okay. Yeah, they're all scared of me for a minute. Um. If it moves more than 30 feet away from me, it can attempt another saving throw, but it has to get through me first. Which it currently can't do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. What else? Uh, bonus actions. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to. Um, I'm just going to cast Shield of Faith again. Okay. Oh, that's that done. Uh, that was my last spell slot there, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I believe that is my turn. Okay. Kobo. Just looking at something. The initiatives that you've rolled aren't in, aren't in place. Right. Yeah. In place? In order. Oh, I see. They're not in order. Alright. In that case, no. Kobo. Bad Kobo. Go, go go, look at what you're looking at and then come back to submit. Um, okay. Perfect. Right. So, is your sphere still up, Gender? Yes. Uh, yes. Right. So the fire is still burning. Uh, so, so if they end their turns within five feet of it, they will have to make dexterity saving throws. Right. So. Uh, Phoenix, can you see this one? Yes. All right. So they they are still in cages currently. In cages. Yes. They the the, the latches were unlocked. Oh. By by Juge. Right. And they're currently in the cage, but the fire is causing them, and also obviously your your terrifying aspect as they as you walked in the room, scared the shit out of them, and walked back out again. Um. They are one. One of them, is the, the middle one here, the um, yellowy green one. I can't actually tell what kind of I made that one. Um, <laughs> is like in its cage and looking through the bars. It is trying to almost. It looks like it's trying to catch your eye, but also being terrified of you and not trying to catch your eye right. at the same time. Okay. And it, it's it's in its cage. It's like. <laughs> Uh, it, it's not making any move to get to come out of its cage, but it's 
Uh, give me, give me a perception check. Uh, uh, two. Yeah, I mean it's clearly terrifying, <laughs> but but you would expect that because you've just made it terrified of you. Yes. Um. So yes. Okay. So never mind. Uh, the second one uh, is similarly. It, it can't quite see you, but it can see the fire. Um, so it does step forward in, in, in order to try and leave the room, and then sees you immediately. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, no." You get back there, uh, and then you roast. Uh, so this one, uh, you say it's within five feet of the sphere. Within five feet of the sphere, yes. So it needs to make a dex roll. No, oh, that's a save. It'll take half. Uh, so that is this. Okay. Alright then. Alright, uh, Kobo. Fuck, is he going to stay in the doorway? That's really ruined my plan. Well, uh, yeah, unfortunately I ran out of me. No, not you, not you. You're not a problem. Uh, it's the... What is it? Is it a fucking frog? Or... Yeah. It is a frog person thing. It is Ooh. a frog. Um... They are a playable race. I know, I played one, remember? Yes. <clears throat> Also, if they stay in there any longer, they're going to become a French delicacy. Indeed, <laughs> they are. I'm going to run out of actions here, aren't I? Shall I tell you what I want to do? Yeah. Well, I mean, think of it as if you were, as, as if you were, you know, in the moment. What would you do? I know what I want to do. I okay. just don't know if I can mechanically get away with all the things. <laughs> all right, let's do this step at a time. Okay. I would like to run forward. Two, three. I want to. I can pass through my ally square. Yep. And then I would like to overrun the. Uh, what was it? A grung? Grunt? Is it a grunge grung. or a grung? Grung. grung. I either want to knock him back or overrun him. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I imagine that would be an athletics check. Um, tested. It would be a shove attack, so mm. uh, athletics check. Yeah, yeah. contested. Uh, oh, and I'm a very athletic chap. Uh. <laughs> this is real well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> you bounce you... off it. Yeah, you rush into him, and I mean, it's, it's not—it's not a very big creature because it is, it is crouched down and like a frog. Can um, I just put uh, myself here because I could—I would theoretically now be able to see what's in the room. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, I will dodge to the side. Mm, well, sure, as sure nope. you can. I mean, you—you've—you've you've okay. literally you've hit, yeah, but you've hit an immovable but, object. <laughs> do, yeah, but where do I go then? Because I can't end up in the same square. You can't. Yeah, okay. it's, you it's, can't it's, finish in the same square. Yeah, exactly. You can't finish so your movement in the same square. It's up square. to you then, DM. Which, which, which way do I go? Can, do I have to go back here? I would say in this instance that you would push past Phoenix to yeah. push the frog over. Yes. In not being able to do so, Phoenix would take a step back, as as with the snake. Yeah. Ah, so we basically mm. swap places. Okay. Yeah. But I'm now there. Uh, so I would probably, <laughs> I would probably step back again. Hang on, here we get an attack of opportunity. Oh, <laughs> fuck. What if I go here? Um... It's, it's cheeky. It is cheeky, because it's behind a wall. You can no longer see but I'm you. technically still in You're still range. in combat, yeah, fine. Mechanics. Well, I don't, I don't know. Am I in combat? Because... It would be very hard to hit him from here. Yeah. But it was it's your call, man. Your call. You're just making life difficult for me because that's what I do for you all the time, isn't it? Um... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, this would I w I would say this would count as partial cover if uh, fire was being as in yeah, as if someone was was firing an arrow. Okay. Okay. So he gets an uh, attack, but I get a yeah, plus two uh, to AC or something. Or yeah. Okay. Is that yep. it, Nate? Uh, get, partial is plus two, I believe, yes. Yep. I'll check it. Okay. Well, this is 12, so it misses anyway. 
Yes. Uh, so, uh, yes, it's uh, half cover is plus two to AC and deck saves. Mm -hmm. Three quarters cover is plus five to AC and deck saves. So after I'll back out into the corner and look frantically at my comrades. Yeah. Yeah. So we, have to, we have to get him out of there. We cannot let him die. Mm. Agreed. I mean, that, I mean, that being the case, he should probably be having death saving throw, shouldn't he? Yep. Oh no, he's, he's going to be failing. He's going to be failing every time because he can't move and he's taking damage. Yep. Well, he hasn't got to his turn yet, so he's all right no. so far. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, okay. So, uh, anything else, Kobo? Um, I'm going to begin to have a panic attack. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's that. That's a free action. Yep. Cool. I'm not. I'm not actually having a full on. It's just. It's starting. <laughs> it's. It's right. slowly starting. And my friends who know me, uh, they 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 can see it in my eyes. They're like they're like, uh oh. Yeah. All right, then. Deander. All righty, then. So, I'm going to move to here. Uh, I should have punched him in the face. I'm an idiot. I have my snake <laughs> attached to me. What? Why didn't I attack him? I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Sorry, um, I didn't mean to steam over, steamroll your turn. I... You're fine. Don't worry. It's... So now I can see what's going on in the room, and it's interesting. Uh, a lot going on in this in this three by three square. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Um, all righty then. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Uh. I am going to bonus action move. Uh, this is going to slam into this one, invading okay. its cage with it. Uh, so it will <laughs> have to make a dexterity saving throw as okay. it has a flaming sphere slam into it, hopefully doing 11 points of damage. Dex save. Uh, that's a six. That'll be eleven points of damage. All right. So yes, yeah, so as the as the as the fire fills the cage, uh, it engulfs the small um, green humanoid. Uh, that its skin begins to immediately blacken and then shrivel, and then as, as all the moisture inside it begins to evaporate, the skin just starts to wrap, shrink wrap around the bones and, until it is just a, a skeleton with dried skin around it. Wonderful. <laughs> Then I'm going to... <laughs> oh, then I'm going to use Burning Hands. Uh, and I'm going to create a 15-foot cone of fire. Uh, which will hit everything else in the room. And I'm casting it at second level. Mm-hmm. So if everybody would like to make a dexterity saving throw, mm. that's burning automatic. hand. Mm. That's going to be an automatic hit on Jews then. That's fine. Mm. So that's a one death save failed. Is that is it one or two for, uh, for, a, for a direct attack? Is, if it's one. a crit, it'd be two, wouldn't it? If it was a melee attack against him, it would be an automatic crit fail. Okay. But as he's just been hit with damage, it's one fail. Okay. Uh, right, so because the um, brooms are, are frightened, I've just checked this. Uh, ability checks are at disadvantage, but is this ability or is it just no, a it's saving throw? Okay. Saving throw. Is that dexterity, did you say? Dexterity uh, saving throw. It's in the corner there. I should have seen that. Uh, okay, so that is save. And that's a fail. Okay. So the one, one in the corner goes the same, the same way as the, um, the yellow one. Burns up in front of you. Uh, so well, that's going to be that's going to be fine. Uh, that's going to be nine points. Yeah, the one directly in front of you, um, it's looking uh, very unwell and very burnt and very in, in a lot of pain, uh, but it's still standing. Cool. 
Uh, and then my snake is going to spit at it. Okay. It will be at disadvantage because it's in melee combat. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, is it? I mean, uh, depends what it's what the attack is classified as. It's a ranged attack, yeah. So it's disadvantage. Okay. Um. So. An eight. I guess it's. That's fair enough. Uh, and I'm going to dismiss my flaming sphere. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to take a step to the side to allow my friends in. Uh, and I'll say, you should probably grab him now. And that's me. Okay. Do you just turn? (coughs) Okay. So the rock is still on fire. Yes. So it's just an automatic fail on his part. So that's two. Yes. Okay. So, moving on. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, right. <clears throat> what I would like to do, um, is I'd like to bull rush this frog. Okay. And shove it back with my shield. Try All to right. grab Mayi Boy. Alright, athletics, nice athletics. Don't you, bastard. Oh, fuck off. Eleven. Eight. Oh. Oh. Ah! Me. Okay. I want to shove him back. And I don't really mind if he falls on top of uh, Zeus's body. I need to shove him backwards so I can grab, like, an ankle. Okay. Right. So you push him back, and he falls back into the bookcase at the very back, and bot, you know, colour bottles start to fall down. But the, your, your sight is slightly obscured because there's a lot of smoke and a lot of flame on the uh, floor. Yeah. And you reach into the fire with your your gauntlet in hand, so you're not too worried about the actual you actually getting burned. And you reach into where you think it should be, and you you, f- you feel around, and you can't find anything solid. Oh. Uh. And then your hand catches something, something thicker than the fibres of the, of the uh, carpet. And you pull it out, and it seems for all the world to be very thick black hair. Ooh. Okay. Did you mean like like loose hair in his hand now, or is it attached to something? So it's, it's basically a, a massive lock of hair. Very Ooh. thick, very, very fibrous, okay. very, very heavy. Drag it out. I don't have a token for this. Um, yeah, so, um, hair. Yes, there's hair. Um, okay. Uh, um, well, uh... Hair for it. Huh. I don't really know what to make of that. Is it... Does it feel like it's attached to something? Nope. Uh, oh. I'm guessing. I'm guessing as you push the grung through the fire, it's going to take some fire damage. Yeah. Um, what would that be? D4. Uh, for a burning rug, yeah, probably. Fuck it. Uh, D4. <laughs> Three. So as you push it through the fire, it catches on fire. It hits the bookcase in the back. It begins. It just. It, it succumbs to its wounds. Okay. And falls down. So, I have attempted to grab Juge. I can see the body, right? No. Oh. 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 Okay. Um. Okay. Move five. Hmm. 
in that case, I'm going to move back here. And start looking around the room. In fact, I'm going to stand up on this table. As I see him backing out empty-handed, I'll be like, oh, oh, where is he? Where is he? He's not there. If we're out of initiative, yep. I would take a step. Um, <coughs> I'd take a step to here and say, uh, just, just hold on. And I'm going to just cast Control Flames and just mm -hmm. extinguish everything in that room. Okay. Yep, so there's uh, a big... It's a trip, so every yeah, six okay. seconds I can quell a uh, five-foot cube. Yep, uh, just within, within seconds you're able to put out the fire. Um, the the chair and the desk were starting to smolder, and the desk itself, uh, some of the pages on there was were starting to catch a light. Uh, some of the books on the back shelf were starting to look you know, <coughs> like they might be about to go up soon. Um, <coughs> but yeah, the, the rug is gone, essentially. Um, yeah. it is, now there's a stone floor beneath is blackened, but showing through. Uh, there is no hint of a body here. It is a, just a massive lock of slightly singed, but very thick fire. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we were out of order, yeah? Yeah. Can I step down and take a look? <coughs> yeah. Can I step onto this hair? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, stay behind me. Can I was just I... having a look for the main room. I'm I there's a of course a very confused look on my face. Can I take out one of the bottles of colouring that I took from upstairs last week? Yep. I want to pop the cork and then just kind of like with like an arcing motion of my hand, just like throw the contents like around the room and with as much spread as I can. Okay. I'm not trying to just, just, anything invisible. Just to see if it sticks to anything, yeah, that I which, can't which see. Which one? <clears throat> which one what? Which which colour? Oh, God, what did I... I don't even remember what I got. Well, no, wait, you did tell me, didn't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. You told me it was... Um, Green and blue, I think? Yeah, but it was specific. It wasn't just green and blue, it was... Oh, fuck. I didn't write it down. Bad player, bad player. Yeah. Well, it's, it's green and blue, so choose, choose green or blue. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to go with green. Green. All right. So you spray the uh, the green dye all around the room. And some of the lighter objects that it, it hits, like uh, there's a pipe and a mirror on the desk and a few other things here and there, begin to float slightly. Mm. Uh, oh. Floating up in the air. And then as you watch it, they float for a few seconds and then disappear in a kind of a sizzle and then as, mm. as if they're being eaten away by acid and then the, the, the component melted parts drop back down to the, to the uh, table. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I look at the empty bottle and f fuck. Yeah. Um, but if I have not... If the liquid didn't touch anything that I couldn't see... I would probably just grab some of this hair and leave the room again uh, and take a good look at it. Um, looking at it now, does it? you said it's like very coarse and thick, so it's no, not it's like, like human hair. It's, it's not coarse, it's very, it's very, it's, it's like it's been very highly conditioned. Um, it, is, it is very, it's fabulous hair. Uh, you, would, you would you would kill for this hair, um, but it is singed at the ends, around the edges, and uh, it's a, a thick and a fibrous. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna look around the room. Um, I mean, do I see that and this? Uh, what is that and this you're referring to? There is like a circle. Yeah. I'll see what that is, and a smear of colour. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm gonna go <laughs> to here and it's a trapdoor. It is a hatch. Ah. Uh, leading down into darkness, there is a rung ladder going down into the darkness area. And what's this, this here? That is a door. Uh, there appears to be um, dried pigments um, coming. Uh, they've been smeared near it. Um, I'm going to try the door first. Right. It is open. Uh, it, 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 it 
Alright. Let me go onto the dynamic lighting. Can I do something before you open the door? Yeah. It depends. Do you, Can do I you, open... Do you shout? <laughs> I know, I would have, in this time, I would have just popped the blue bottle mm -hmm. and just given it a sniff. Is there any way I can, like, try and identify it? I guess just through taste. I don't. I have a herbalism kit, but I don't think that's going to do it, is it? <clears throat> um, uh, give me an arcana check. Okay. That's, uh, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing that I'm, I'm actually not terrible at. <laughs> not terrible. Oh no, I'm terrible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I forgot. Terrible. I thought I was alright, but I'm shit. So you're, you're better you, than me. So you, you pop the lid and you, you take a deep whiff, and <laughs> it, it's a very it's a very hard smell to categorise. You, you get a kind of a hint of cold. It, it smells very cold, and and a really odd sensation that you feel you feel a sense of volume coming from it. But nothing, nothing that you can really quantize, quantify even. Okay. Fuck. Quantized. <laughs> yeah, that's right. all I wanted to do then. Okay. okay. So, uh, as you uh, yeah. open the door, yes, that's uh, immediately spy a, a savart in here, standing uh, in front of uh, an open doorway, yeah. who, who has clearly been poised, because having heard all of the kerfuffle going on outside. Uh, seeing you immediately turns tail and legs it. Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> right. Um, hmm. Well. What do you see? There's another one of those goblins. Svart things. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. So you enter a room. Uh, lots of lots of different dried pigments on the floor. Um, bottles and bottles. You know, almost like a wine cellar, um, but with different coloured dyes uh, adorning all the walls. Ooh. Uh, for the for the pur for the purposes of the game, um, only three only three types of dye appear to be labelled: uh, the green, the blue, and the purple. Mm. Um, the green dyes are labelled with the word. Lift in capital letters. Ah. The blue dyes oh, are labelled with the sense. word with the word loud, and loud. the purples the purples are labelled with the word lush. Okay. <laughs> uh, there is also a bottle, a couple of bottles which appear to don't don't appear to, appear to have anything in them. But when you pick them up, you can feel liquid moving around, um, oh. and others that just have the word colour remover on them. Ah. I'm going to take a sample of each one. Alright. I would probably just grab some colour remover for the moment. But this is a room that I'd probably like to have a... spend a little bit of time in once we've <coughs> sorted this out. Um, but I just... Lift makes sense. The green liquid made the, the objects float when I threw it upon them. But what... What could loud mean? Hmm. I'm gonna move. Maybe it gets the everyone's attention. Right. Hmm. Well, this looks ominous but enough. Let's uh, let's continue. Oh wait, Didi. Yes. I uh, I see you still have uh, several serious uh, burns upon your face. Oh, yes. Would you like me to, uh... If, if it would. Of course, I, uh... And you see him take out his, uh... Out of his pack again, some... Some more ointment and some... Padding, bandages... And, uh... Spends a short moment... Trying to take care of the worst of your... Burns. It's a, oh, that's awful. It's a ten. That's all right. Thank you. Um, I would also turn back to my pachyderm friend. The Andia, uh, do you also require a little bit of uh, attention? Hmm. What can you do about this? 
and I'll sort of extend my trunk down and see that there was a load of acid splayed on it. I've, I'll, I'm hurt a bit. If you okay. uh, if you can help. Yes, yes. I, I think I have some topical cream for such an injury. <laughs> and I shall do the same. Put some chamomile lotion on it. Oh. Yeah. 13 points. I like this thing. Yeah, I've actually built a healer. <clears throat> All right. So, as healing Here is was me on. picking the druid, expecting <laughs> to be the only one who can heal. <laughs> uh, as, a, as healing is, is occurring, uh, Phoenix, as you enter this area, you can see that it appears that this, is, this has been knocked through. Um, the, the room that you've just left is clearly man-made. Um, the door that you come through is is shored up with, um, with wooden beams. Mm. Uh, it appears that this that, that uh, this is a cave system that has been knocked through into. Ooh. Hey. Uh, now, this could be a little bit of theater of the mind required here, the lovies, um, because it's really hard to draw hair that doesn't, you know, ruin everything. Mm. So, fair. All over the floor and starting to just creep into the room that you've just left. It are just, it just, just uh, loads and loads of hair that is coming from the direction that you are, will uh, that you are currently facing down this way. Mm. It is uh, the same thick, uh, thick, fibrous, uh, lush hair that um, you pulled from the fire in the other room. Well, in for a penny. We going? Yes, I think we must continue. Uh, there was one other place. The only one who finds this a little creepy, you know. Well, there was one other place we haven't looked yet, and that was down the uh, hall, the trap door in the room. I, I did consider this, but should we look down there first? Well, I, I think, think we should go this way. Yes, I uh, have a sneaking suspicion. Yes, considering but the hair the, uh, is connected. Yeah, considering the content to- context and the circumstances, I believe this is probably uh, a more lucrative mm. uh, direction. Off we go then. Right, well, you'll we'll move very fast. It would be this particular order, I would imagine. The Durgan, the Kobo, and then the Elephant Man. Phoenix Kobo Elephant. Yes. Wait, one second. Let me just get you in order. <laughs> oh, wow. The, the, the gin I've been drinking just hit me really hard. Oh, dear. FK is terrible. Drinking on a school night? Awful. Yeah. It's not like we do it every week normally. Nope. <laughs> You're all a bunch of lushes, that's why. So, while we wait for the dads to come back, uh, hi chat, how's everyone doing? Hi chat! Hi chat! Uh, we have a record eight people. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Alright. <clears throat> uh, uh, is this people we know, or do we have, do we have some actual. Um, I know Spyro, I know Slug. Uh huh. I know Phil Dewey. We, we all know Phil Dewey. He's our, he's our, he's our back here? Mr. Mr. Phil Dewey's here, yes. Oh, he is here. Yeah. Hello. Do we have some lovely names. <coughs> lovely names yeah. for some lovely people. Lovely Thank people. you all for listening. Yes. Right. Naz has returned. Yeah. Naz has returned. Let's move you Naz with his sexy, gravelly voice. I'm so sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Oh, he it's character like development. The further underground you go, the more you... Oop, I don't I know. Forgot. Do no, something. <laughs> well, just, did someone just leave and come back then? Uh, I think the bot broke and then started again, but it's fine. Yeah. <sighs> right. Right. Right, mm. So, are you all on, are you all on the page? Yes. It's Indeed. Loading for me. So. All right. That's because mm. you live in the middle of um, nowhere. Yep, I'm further away, so 
<laughs> it needs more time to get here. Right. <laughs> if it uh, keeps doing it for quite a while, Sean, you might need to reload. Uh, roll twenty. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna refresh. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is not doing anything. Uh, okay, let me actually go out and come back in again. Yeah, I, w I would. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, chat. Back again. <laughs> it's me. Mm. Right. So there's a dude there. Yeah, once um, we, we are yeah, currently I mean, pausing. Don't wait, wait for me, carry on. I no, can we, see... we, we, can't, we kind of have to wait for you. I can see what's going on over <laughs> the stream, so... All right. Okay, so as soon as you um, appear around the corner, the um, the creature that legged it away from you previously uh, disappa disappears down this way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Asshole. Right. Um, give me, uh, all of you, give me perception checks. Perception checks, A. That is a 15. Okay. Uh, is it to do with smell? Yeah. It's not to do with smell, it's to do with smell, I tell you. God fucking damn it. It's still a 21, fuck you. <laughs> is this a large map, bro? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, hang on. Okay. So, um, yeah, so as, as it disappears around the corner, you, you can hear its footfalls um, echoing back to you um, as it slaps against the, 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 the hard-packed gravel. And um, Phoenix specifically, you can hear it talking in abyssal, uh, shouting, um, we, we, intruders, we've got, we've, got, we've got company, that, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Standard. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, so I'll just repeat that to my colleagues, mm -hmm. and um, uh -huh. I'll say he's obviously going where the action is, so he might as well follow. So I'm going to go up to the junction here. Oh, hello. Indeed. Hello. Hello, Dolly. Hello. Uh, how are you doing there, Sean? Oh, I just literally just uh, literally just got vision as you said that. <laughs> so, my okay, words uh, bring vision and and clarity. A beautiful. It's still very blurry. A beautiful but... day. All right then. So obviously from your from your um, <coughs> vantage point, yes. Phoenix. Um, Actually, you can't see shit. I know what we're talking about. Looking from your perspective. Okay, so, yep, yeah, I'll carry on. What do you do? I can see shit from where I am. Mm hmm. Mm. Um, uh, let's have a look. What does that do? <laughs> what does this button do? <laughs> Alright. Mm. Is it fairly dark in here? It is pitch. It's black. Except I've got light coming off of my snake. Yep. I have so blind sight. It's almost a euphemism. Um, uh, for some reason, for some reason, your um, your token is not emitting lights. Let me just fix that. But if you say it was te ten, is it twenty bright and twenty dim? <coughs> was it ten? Um, well, we we said that it was the same light as a torch. Yeah. Um, is, so it's twenty, 20, 20 and twenty. Um, because technically it doesn't, but it's made of fire. So <laughs> it's made, of, it's made of fucking fire. Thanks. Um, I have blind sight of ten feet. Mm -hmm. you, you should be able to see uh, better now because the um, the the snake is giving off light. Yeah. Okay. All right. There is stuff to the north and stuff to the west. I'm going to go to the north. Hello, my pretty. Um, well then, as you approach, then um, the the you know making no attempt to be quiet. Um, give me initiative. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's 
Well, that's a two. <laughs> a thirteen for Deander. Sounds like a wonderful music. What if you broke it? Um, I was just going to say, I was just going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I was so distracted by the beautiful music. Mm -hmm. I, I rolled a one and yeah. forgot to move into action. <laughs> you rolled a one? Oh, that's because your thing is stuck from the previous um, one for some reason. Is that you? It is you, isn't it? <sighs> Can you can you see your? You're in there three times. I can't see me in there at all. Oh, for God's no, sake! Neither can I. I'm re removing all of you. You're, you're barred. Oh, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Let me add you all back in so you can put your numbers in. I am Elephant Man, Man of the Elephant. I am Elephant Man. Da, 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 da. See my <laughs> trunk and hear me trumpet. Uh, right, is your Stuart face still up, um, Nads? Or did you lost concentration previously, didn't you? Or did you re-up it? Uh, I... No, because I, I put it up again to fight the frog guys. And none of them hit me, I don't think. So if you were allowing me to have that up still. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have been 10 minutes, I don't think. Actually, how long is it last for? It is 10 minutes, isn't it? 10. Is it? <laughs> Shield of Faith is 10. Oh, yes, it is, yes. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Yes. Hey, okay. right, so just bear that in mind. Right, so who's first? This guy's first. So seeing you come around the corner, he's going to uh, sling his sling at you. <laughs> and miss horrible. Miss, yeah. Wunderbar. And then the one at the back here, uh, that's going to be a disadvantage because he's further away. No. That's a, that's a miss. And it is now the Thunder's turn. Do you mean Deander? No, no, the Thunder? Who the hell's the Thunder? Wow. I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Uh, Deandra. There's a reference. <laughs> the Thunder? Who's that? That's, a, that's, a, that's, 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 that's the god, gods. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> isn't he also one of the Imperial Fists? Entirely possible. Three. Okay, seeing through there, that's a terrifying thing to see. <laughs> um, Alrighty then. Now. Now <laughs> is the time. I... Now this is this is entirely down to you, Troy. Yeah, you got it. Uh, how high mm. is the? How high is the room that I can see at the far end? Uh, so the you are currently in tunnels, and the tunnels will probably be about ten feet high. Yep. Um, looking at far ahead from you, you can see that it does appear to open up, and as in up, up as well as further back. Yes. <laughs> so this north, mm. this north room. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. See, I don't know whether it would let me or not, but it's it's what I would do. So, all right, I am going to cast at third level, and as I slam my staff into the ground, instead of fire appearing somewhere, storm clouds, if they will appear. <laughs> I didn't mean to roll that, but just play it, or show it, rather. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, there we go. The cap. No, I don't want to fucking show it on the fucking thing! Display! There we go. Call lightning! I would like to create a storm cloud. Right. Uh, okay, so 60 foot radius. Yes. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. I want I want to cover the entirety of this room in the north. All right. 
Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, that no, no issues. Uh, where are you focusing this? I'm aiming it directly there. Right. Like in the center of whatever that bollocks is. So, it being a sixty-foot radius, it is gonna hit Phoenix. Um, it's just a cloud. Okay. It creates uh, a cloud that then okay. fills that space. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you are in a room that can Okay, right, so it does say if you're in a room that can't accommodate the cloud, so if the room... Does that mean if the room isn't 60 foot in radius, it won't appear? I don't know, that's why it's up to you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Um, when you cast a spell, choose a point, you can see under the cloud, the bottom line uh, If I can just fill that room <laughs> with cloud... Yeah. Yeah, Whatever that room is. Yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. Rule of cool, fuck it. Get on with it. <laughs> cool. So whatever the room... Whatever that is... Um... I am going to then... Uh... Slam my staff on the ground again. Uh... And choose a point I can see underneath the cloud, which will be this square. Anything within five feet of that needs to make a dexterity saving throw, or be hit with a bolt of lightning. Underground. Because, yes. Because D and D. Because rule of cool. Yeah, well, that one fails. That it's one saves. Magic. Because, <laughs> because magic, magic, bitch. Bitch. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So two um, saves, one fails. Uh, and I'll take the damage that I rolled earlier because I rolled it twice and it was both the same, so it feels like karma is kicking me in the dick. Uh, 15 points of damage to whoever needs to have the damage. Oh, well, that one dies. Or half or whatever. Alright. So, half for 15 would be 5, uh, 7. Hmm. So, yep. Both of them, both of the smaller ones die. Uh, the one which looks slightly different to the ones you've seen previously. Uh, takes the light link, but uh, does not fall. I see. And as a... Uh, as an ending to my particular turn, I'm going to move up to here and sort of flank my friend as my snack is going to move forward just a little bit, curl up inside the... Uh, I'll curl up along the, the sword arm of my dear friend and spit at this little prick. There's a nine hit him. No. I didn't fucking think so. And that'll be me. <laughs> okay. So it's that. So, um... <laughs> this this one, having heard lightning, uh, lightning, lightning on the ground. <laughs> what? It looks fucking behind lightning it. Lightning bolt, bitch! It's a fucking lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, looks behind it and sees like the storm because it's, it's the storm. Yes, yeah, so it's concentration. So the storm cloud stays in there. Yeah. He just... looks behind him, and this is like, what? It sits there for <laughs> ten fucking minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it is going to uh, it's going to maintain some slight distance, and it's going to sling at um, at uh, Phoenix and, and miss. Yeah, yeah. All right, Kobo. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, well, first I'm just going to step forward. One, two, three, four. Um, I see. I mean, all the terribleness. I mean, I kind of assume I would know what's going on because I might have seen this before. I mean, can can I en I can't enter that safely, can I? Yeah. Will I not get struck by lightning? No. I choose where the lightning bolt goes. Ooh. Okay. In that case, one, two, three, four. Then I could reach this guy. Oh fuck! Do you know what that is? Is that where the whale come down? I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to attack this guy, this guy here. And Nate misses, I have another Nate. attack. Sorry, what? Nate, 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 Nate. 
That's Eleven. Nice. Oh, fuck. Um, let's see how many I've got left. I'm going to end my turn then. Phoenix. Right. Phoenix. Um, is going to. Oh yeah. Move through all of these, taking attacks of opportunity. And <laughs> Holy shit! And bro. Taking the snake with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fourteen misses. Yeah. Bye, snack. Twenty misses. I guess because you're the faith. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to attack this guy with my right. battle axe. Once. Three times a murder machine. Uh, one handed, is it? It's one handed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you take a slice, you, you, you carve deep into it, but despite its size, it's, it's remaining. It's remaining upright. The audacity. Right. The it's again. The audacity. Hopefully. 11. That misses. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um. And, uh. Yeah, no, that's me. I can't use two weapon fighting because I've got a shield, haven't I? Yeah, uh, that's correct. Okay, yeah, no, that's me done. Okay, so we're back to this one. It's now the top of the round, so we're going to bring these into initiative. Oh, that's a word I didn't want to say. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one do you think? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly say. Is it Dark Dark or is it Warlock? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so it is this one's turn. Uh, you, so you've just gone blasting past it. It's just like, oh well, I feel enormously inadequate now. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to come forward and it's going to uh, attack Kobo. <sighs> it's a twenty-one hit. Uh, yeah. Seven points of piercing damage. Okay. This turn. So onto the Svad Vorlock of Raxivort. I think that's how it's said. Um, that's how it's said now. That's how it's said now. <laughs> that's canon. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me see. I think this is what I want. What I really, really want. What I really, really, really want to zig zig zig. zig ah. Ah. Um. Right, so um, having taken a, an axe to the chest, um, and a lightning bolt, and a lightning bolt, it, it, it's none too happy. So it is going to cast burning hands upon you, uh, Phoenix. Okay. Uh, can I have a dexterity saving throw, please? Hopefully not. not that will dry. And that's a one. That's a one. So you take fourteen fire damage. And the noodle takes nothing. And the noodle takes nothing because it is fire. It's immune to fire because it is fire. It is fire. It is um, one of which is fire. So it's damaged me, right? Uh, for 14. Yes. yes. Okay. Second. Elish Rebuke. Oh, nasty. Oh, shit. At level two. Uh, that's a DC. Oh, uh, that? Dexterity. That is a fail. Yeah. So it take yep. So you, what do you do? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I uh, look down at the um, the searing of my my armor, and I uh, I just laugh, and um, hmm, fire fire burns out of my eyes. I probably shouldn't have I probably shouldn't have made you do this, should I? Um, <laughs> It burns hellishly in its rebuke. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry, Nat. I didn't think. Uh, okay. okay. So it falls to the ground in a smoldering heap. Uh, it is this one's turn. It is going to uh, rush forward and attempt to um, attack you. Uh, you took damage, by the way. So can you give me a concentration saving throw, please? Oh yes. Ten. That's a save. Oh, it's the safe. Excellent. Yeah, that is the lowest. All right, so hacky slash ah! and fail. 
Uh, okay, that's that one. So down to here. This one's going to come around and try and attack Kobo. 22. Yep, that hits. What was that one? A second ago. Uh, it's four piercing. Okay. And uh, Deander. Uh, for me, for me, as I look on at my friend, uh, I will, I will think that he's got it because he's a tough son of a bitch, and I'm gonna send the lightning strike down here. Ooh. Right. Uh, which will only hit Dickhead and not my friend. Okay. Um, deck, deck save. That would be a dexterity saving throw, please, sir. Ooh. That's 20. Well, you will take <laughs> half damage from the lightning bolt. Mm-hmm. Which is 15 again. God damn it, really? Seven. Yeah. Singed! Singed within an inch of its life. Uh, and my snack, as it's still wrapped around my friend... <laughs> Can my snack see any living, uh, other living things aside from that? Yes. Because I can't. I don't have vision for it, so I don't know. Hold on. There are other things up to the left. Okay. Yeah, oh, beautiful. If you, if you click on it now, you should be able to see. Beautiful. Ta, very much. Um, my snack is going to look it around and go, nah. Uh, is going to wrap itself round the arm, and the uh, the lovely dragonborn Dark Dark will feel uh, a familiar tug uh, right. as the snake attempts to teleport with him. Hmm. Is he a willing target? Yes. Wonderful. So. <laughs> Nads, we, we can we can just about hear you. <laughs> so it is okay. But if you do want to just save your voice, just mute yourself and we'll and we'll just wait for your typing, man. Um Uh I will teleport him Uh fifteen feet this way This way No this way. To here! We shall teleport to here. Uh, and a dexterity save shall be uh, asked for from the dickhead that we just left behind. Ah, okay. Uh, I mean, it, it, I mean, if it's going to take... Does it take damage if it saves? No. Okay. So you need to make a 14. It flashes in front of you and nothing seems to happen uh, as the Dragonborn and the Flaming Snake teleport backwards a little bit. Yeah. Sentences you don't expect to hear in, in life. Um, yes. It's uh, quite an interesting one. Uh, and then the Elephant Man is going to end his turn there. Okay. So moving on to the spot, the spot around the corner, uh, it is going to um, see that its 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 intended quarry has disappeared. So it will make its way around the corner to see what's happening and see that the thing it was going to attack anyway is just now around the corner. So it's going to come down and attack and fail horribly, tripping on a stone on its way around because it's terrified because all of its mates got hit by lightning. Yeah. As as you know, as was the style at the time, uh, right? Uh, Phoenix, this is, this is going to be interesting. Um, I mean, I mean we, can we assume you're just going to hit it? <laughs> <laughs> the ping says yes. Because if you just want to hit, just roll attack. If not, then obviously you need to you need to communicate somehow. All right, uh, that is going to miss. Second attack. That is going to hit. Woo! That's four points of slashing. Right. Yep, you took a slash, you hit it, took a deep cut out of it, but it's still standing. 
If you if if that is the end of your turn, please ping once. All right then, moving on. I like uh, Kobo. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I guess I'm just going to have to start uh, clearing a path here. So I shall attack the one to the north of me. Okay. 11. That's going to miss. <laughs> 23. That's going to hit. Uh, that will be three points of... three whole points of damage. Right. I will flurry of blows. Oh yeah. First attack, 23. Nice. It's two on um, just a damage machine. Mm. Um, and uh, second, 17. Yep, hit. Seven. Yep, the last one, the last hit, punch it out its head, snaps on one side, you hear a distinct crack as its neck breaks. Awesome. Uh, I think... I think that's. I think yeah, that's basically that's what I can do. Mm, I'll just step back here. Okay. Ta. <laughs> Defend the elephant. It's that one's turn. It's going to take a swipe at you, uh, Kobo. Twenty. That's five points of piercing damage. Sorry, was that me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Registered. I think that one. Is that one dead? Oh no, it's up there still. It's still hanging on to life. Uh, all right. Let's see. Can it make its way down? It certainly can. Welcome to your little. Um. All right. It's going to come down. It's going to attack Phoenix with a short sword and miss because nothing can hit Phoenix because he is a tank with shiny, shiny armor. Uh, Deander. Fart. Brilliant, thank you for that. And with a slam of the staff, lightning! <laughs> so just there. Discord said no. Lightning, motherfucker! <laughs> lightning will spawn right there and slam the ground and roast those two motherfuckers, uh, whether, depending on whether they make their dexterity save for throws or not. To fail. That's the wrong button I just pressed then. That's a safe. Well, one will take ten and one will take five. No, well, they both die anyway. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and my snack will turn around and spit fire at the blaming dickhead. Turn around. Every now and then you see a fame-eating spider. What? Spider? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Apparently he's a spider now. Uh, that hits. Wonderful. Eight points of fire damage. It is immolated. Yeah! Ember's up the butt. Uh, and that would be... That would be my turn in the end of combat. Ah. Alright, Nats wants to do a thing. We are prepared <laughs> for the thing. Nats wants to go over there. Uh, Nats is going to lay himself down on the altar, apparently. No, Didi, do not do this. <laughs> Nats is going to play with the nipples of the statue. <laughs> Can you break its head off? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be a strength check there, buddy. No, I said strength, not athletics. Oh, and you rolled a fucking 18 as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fucking typical. <laughs> fucking typical. Can I assist him by making the lightning hit its head? Okay, can I assist him by actually putting my hands on it and trying to pull it off with him. Yeah, I might yeah. just blow you up if but... I hit, try and hit it with lightning. Yeah, alright, but you, you can't... If you wish to assist Kobo, then I can give Kobo advantage. 
Uh, I'd rather assist Yandia, I think. Uh, what? I thought I was assisting um, Dark Dark. Well, Dark Dark has already done his role. Okay. Uh, uh, sure, I I will assist... Well, mm. Do I you just... look particularly strong? No. Do you look weaker than the average person? Elephant? Weaker than an elephant? Yeah, I look weaker than, than a... I'm not a very strong elephant. Okay, all right. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I have an okay strength. Actually, it, does this statue does this statue have any cracks in it? Um, so looking at the statue, it appears to be uh, of solid uh, granite. If if a bit oh oh, it's been it's clearly been here for a while. Um, it's quite leaching, um, you know, covered and whatnot. Looking around it, if you want to if you want to give me um, um, percep no investigation. Uh, if you can try and find some weak spots, All right? Potentially. Nope. Oh, Didi, Didi found something. Yeah, <laughs> Didi, Didi. Looks like you found something. Um, yeah. So if you, I mean, if, you, if you're looking particularly to take the head off, um, it actually looks like there may be a um, a, a uh, crack at the front in like the, where the throat would be. Um, Dean okay. was attempting to pull it from the from, you know from the top down towards him, but potentially if you push it up, you might have more chance. Well, I actually have a crowbar. Why? I, I've, <laughs> I bought all sorts of shit. My pack is full of all sorts of items. Um, I but I do have a crowbar. So could I put that in the crack and try and? All right. If the thunder is, if, why do I keep saying the thunder? If Deander is helping you, you can roll with advantage of a plus one for your crowbar. A whole plus one. Okay. Why no? No, no pluses then. I'm grateful. Oh, shit. Too late. Too late. I pressed it now. <laughs> All right. So you get your, you, you, you wedge your crowbar into the crack in the neck, and with the the help of your two rather but much burlier looking uh, comrades. You uh, apply the ancient uh, laws of leverage up upon it, and you hear. And as as you bring it down, you feel like the crowbar is beginning to bend, and you start to worry for a second. And then you hear the unmistakable sound of a rock beginning to split and crack. And you, as you watch, the head, already pointing upwards towards the ceiling, just begins to fall further backwards with a, with a split as the granite breaks apart with a, a very loud resounding crash. As it hits the floor behind it. Uh, now I turn back to Didi. Didi, uh, why, uh, why did we do this? You realise you're making him talk now. Yep. I don't have power. Oh, true. Okay. Uh, uh, looking at this now, is this anything I might recognise? Uh, give me religion, Jack. Religion? Uh, we oui, we. Oui. Nope. Oh, man. It appears to be an altar of some sort. Okay. So. The, um... Alright, so, um... Uh, Phoenix or Didi having a look around. Um, you can see that... This is definitely a sacrificial altar. There is no question about that. The blood on the altar in itself would give it away. But looking at the runes um, that, are, that are marked out around the statue, this is a uh, an altar of offering. People are brought here, and their souls are sent to the god in question. Oh. Where are they? I guess we have taken care of things. I am just... What has happened to... Uh, to Zhuzh? Uh So, even here, uh, as, you, as you came down the stairs, I, I kind of forgot to mention this, but that's you know, in all the excitement. Um, the hair that you follow down, down the... You know, going down into the depths, it is everywhere. It is all over the floors. It's crawling up the walls. Uh, it's in this room. It doesn't enter the circle around the altar um, but it is it is ever present um, as, you, as you've been moving around what about this little table that I've got to on this bottom uh, that, side? that is um, it appears to be a skeleton of a humanoid it's been there for quite a while 
uh, candles have been lit around it, which is odd considering that there is no light anywhere else in this uh, area apart from the two candles that were next to the altar. Hmm. A bit weird, but all right. Yeah. Is that Enbok? Oh, book. Uh, yes, it is a thing, yes. What is the book? Uh, so, uh, Phoenix can read it, uh, or can understand Abyssal. So, uh, it is the book of Raxiort. Um, skimming through it, it appears to be a holy text of the god in question. <laughs> Yoink! All right, now add that to your to your inventory. Is there uh, anything uh, written inside that might help us? I mean, you're gonna sit down and what well, are you gonna ask Phoenix to sit down and have a read? Maybe just skim through it. Um, it is the basics of a holy text. It is, uh, follow me for I am the one true God. If you don't, then you'll be smited. Uh, offer me your um, sacrifices for I will grow stronger and in growing stronger will make you stronger. Um, do as I say or I'll fucking kill you. And does it mention hair? Hair isn't mentioned. Strange. Okay, perhaps we should... Uh... Make sure we have not uh, overlooked anything. There were other. Sorry. Yes. There were other places within this system of caves. Oh. While I'm here, if I look up, do I see a, a tunnel leading to the surface? Yep. Sorry, what? Uh, look, but looking down, you do see that this appears to be um, almost like a manhole cover that has been. Um, Stop it with a plank of wood. Okay. Uh, give me a perception, please. Perception. <laughs> okay. Right. So, as you stand on the the manhole. You hear it, you, you hear your feet go ching ching on the metal. It is clearly hollow. And um, as you do so, you hear, "Hello, excuse me, please." Oh, Dian uh, Cook. I think I, and I'll reach down and I will just pull the man cover, the manhole cover to the side if I can. The wood, you need to remove the wood. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I will try and open it. Right, so you remove the wood, uh, pull up the cover, and um, you look down. The This appears to be a hole about 30 foot deep. Uh, with your night vision, you can see down to the floor, to the bottom quite clearly. Um, there appears to be uh, a tabaxi in the bottom of it. Uh, looking tabaxi. up at you. Yes, a uh, cat person. Yes, yes. Yes. Um... um Looking down, you can see uh, you can see her looking up at you. Uh, the, uh, her eyes glinting as uh, she looks up. She says, oh, hel uh, hello. I don't suppose I could trouble you to let me out? I'll glance back to Deandia and look back down. I'm already uh, holding out a rope. Yeah. <laughs> I have a. I've got one a fifty foot rope. I'm already holding uh, you. Yes, yes, uh, Deandia. One, one second. One second. Uh, I'll I'll shine my light down to get a good look and uh, who are who are you exactly? Why um, why are you here? I am two llamas. Two llamas. Two llamas. Yes. Uh, I am here because I have been kidnapped, or kidnapped. Now it appears that my um, fur was of particular interest to the barber upstairs. I came in for a, a quick haircut. And I found myself down here. Apparently, uh, I am of interest because they like my hair. Does he seem... Give me insight. Yeah, I'll That's insight it. him too. I don't have to at this point. Eleven! Uh, Kerber? Mm -hmm. Fourteen. 
appears on the upper lap. Um, you know, she, she's at the bottom of a, of a thirty foot hole, mm-hmm. uh, it was, which was locked clearly from the top. She's looking at her, clearly been down there for a while and potentially hasn't been fed for quite for possibly a while longer. How long have you been down here? Honestly, I have no clue. I know I'm very, very hungry. But, I will. Uh, I'll nod to Deandia to lower his rope. Yep, I'll. Uh, I'll start lowering the rope down. Uh, you are most kind. I honestly thought that I was going to die down there. Or I'll just let her climb up. I'm just going to stand there holding it as I'm a a 700 pound anchor. Mm-hmm. I mean, when she anchor. once she ex- exits, I will actually give you one of my uh, one of my rations and my water skin. Oh. I, I cannot thank you enough. And she just she devours it in seconds. Okay, please uh, do not uh, run away. We must uh, check a couple of corners of this place uh, before we leave. I, uh, I don't, I don't suppose if you have been uh, through the, the the workshop. On the way down here, you mean? Yes, I was, yes. Uh, I was put in the machine, and they told me it would wipe my memory, but it did not. I was resistant somehow, and uh, it made me even more interesting, apparently, which is why I have been locked up down here instead of killed outright. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, perhaps you can show you this to us. Mean the machine that barbecued the other thing. I I, I assume she means other machine, but uh... interesting. I'm actually just gonna leave her uh, with I, the undead. Have you uh, have you found the other? There's, there, there was another man. I've gone at this point. Uh, not yet. Who else is down here? Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's uh, have a look and see if they've noticed you. Uh, if. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. sound good. Yeah, you remember Sean, off? what did you do? I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Uh... Oh, it's the case. Get the last one. Get to decide it. Oh, uh, yeah. So. <clears throat> As you walk around the corner, Kobo, you immediately see what you can see, and the ones that you can see, three of them notice you immediately, and a cry goes up. Do I have time to back away down the tunnel? Got distance. Sorry, what? You've got distance. What does that? What do you mean? Well, they're not right on top of you. Oh yeah, I would back up and say well, we have big trouble. Uh, fuck, fuck. Back to the altar. Back to the altar. Uh, you, uh, Tabaxi, come with us. While we're moving, I'm gonna pull out a healing potion and drink it. Uh, it's two d four plus two, right? And I am hoping the cat follows me. Uh, right, so, uh, Kobo, can you give me a perception check, please? Uh, a perception check. Please. Yes. One second. Perception is 1d... 2d plus... 2. 19. Okay. So as you disappear around the corner... You hear the voices go up in uproar that of seeing you, but above all those high-pitched um, voices that you don't understand, you do hear one that you that is speaking in common, mm-hmm. and it is a high-pitched voice, but also very loud. And you hear it, you know, no, 
Stay here. Protect your Svartet. Do we all hear that? Or um, just? Well, I mean, he was he was the one who who went where he went, so he it would have echoed down towards him. Okay. Okay, I, I I will have ducked down here at the corner. I, I, I've opened up my pack. I'm rummaging in it. Um, while I'm doing so, I say, I, 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 I heard a voice. I think uh, it's say to, to hold back. Um, and if I have time, I would like to use another use of my healer's kit to try and heal myself because I I'm actually pretty fucked up and I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, while he's doing that, I would be grabbing the tabaxi, uh, and my snake is going to, I, I'm going to hold out my arm with my snake on it and say, here, please hold him for me. Uh, okay. and my snake is going to coil around, uh, the tabaxi's arm and I'm going to guide the snake and the tabaxi over to the back of the room with me. Hello. Uh, I am here to help you on fire. Oh no. It's quite safe. If he squeezes you, just go with it. I see. Uh, can, I, can I trouble you for uh, a dagger or anything to protect myself? Yeah, I have a number of short swords I can throw one to. Uh, I have nothing to give you. You have, sorry. <laughs> I yeah. have nothing. I apologize. Can I also do another round of healing? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Whew, okay. I was way lower than I realized. Fuck. Friends, please hold back. I don't want to hurt you. Do I? Do I hear them coming? I mean, they—they they would they would have made it at this point, really. Uh, Chainmail will take ten minutes to put on nuts. Oh wow! Everything's just gone robotic. Did it? I think that was me. Uh, they are, do not seem to be uh, approaching. I. Uh, I'm going to very carefully and stealthily. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me very well, but I can't hear you very well. Can you uh, hold off from any stuff at first for a second, please? Uh, okay. I can hear you perfectly well, Troy. Yeah, I, I can't hear you very well. You're, you've all gone very robotic. Uh, that would okay. be your internet then, because we hear nothing of the sort. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, get, I get that. Right, job done. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Bad mouth him. Bad mouth he's him gone. on the internet. Okay, quickly. What, what's the game plan? What do we? Oh, okay. all right. Speak to me, jungle friends. Hello. Okay, that sounds. You bad. say jungle friends? Yes. Is that a reference to something? I don't know. I think it might be uh, Ace Ventura when, when nature calls. Okay. Um, I, it's a reference I am old enough. I am old enough to get, but not one I remember very well. No, I think I saw that for, film once, and it was um, when it a came out. A very long time ago. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, I just said I would like to stealthily creep forward and uh, take a peek around the corner if I can. All right, give me stealth then. I shall roll for stealth. All uh, right, stealthy motherfucker. Mm. Yeah, so you uh, um, you crunch you crunch through the gravel and uh, kicking the dead bodies as they pass. Oh, reach, it, re- yeah. You reach the area that uh, the corner that you were at previously. What if I and, go to um, here? I can right, see some. So give me perception. Another one. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Twenty-one. Okay. So you can hear voices. You can hear the voices. I mean, this is a big echoey chamber, but and you can't understand what they're saying because they're all in abyssal. But 
you know, judging by the sound of them, there's no kind of uh, come on, let's get him, don't let him get away vibe to the voices. It's much more, there's, there's agitation in the tone, but not really any signs of pursuit. Okay, I'm going to step back and gesture my friends to to approach. I would stay back with the cat. Okay. And I'm going to very carefully, not particularly trying to hide myself now, I'm going to walk forward to here. Right, okay. So, the, immediately they start to search forward. In attack? They, uh, they, yes, they, they, they're going to attack you, because you uh, are there. I, uh, okay. I mean, I, I put my hands up. I didn't say. I was I was trying to approach in a non-threatening manner. But if it's too late, it's too late. All right, okay. It would right. appear initiative is going to be rolled again. Yep. Cool. Okay. I know nothing. Hold on. Messages are coming through. Fucking hell. hell. Fucking hell. Ah! Things. Stuff and things. It's all gone horribly wrong. Apparently my music player has died. Wow, this is some great dead air. Hey! The music is here. Is it? I can't hear it. Yeah, music's back on. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yep. I, I cannot hear that. That's really weird. All right, fine. I'll play in silence then. This isn't weird at all. <laughs> right then. Uh, initiatives. Need the initiative tracker, sir. Aha! It is. All right then. Oh, good God. Eleven for the elephant. You haven't got initiative. You don't know what's happening. I mean, my initiative just doesn't count for now. <laughs> Until I get shouted at. You're having a lovely conversation with the with the cat. Yeah. Hopefully, my my large ears will allow me to hear shouts from my friends or the clashing of swords. Oh boy. I've done now. There's so many of them. Uh, uh, it's not uh, something I want to hear when I can't see them. Okay. Right. So, with initiative ordered, uh, ordered and all that, uh, oh, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> oh no! No! Fuck! No! Eleven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. Makes sense. You know, you know how long battles these things can go on for. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're right. You're God. right. You're right. The one shot turns into a three shot. Yeah, yeah. it's it's fair enough. As uh, Nads can't even talk at this point no. anyway. So, and um, Rich can come back and play two llamas. Oh no! <laughs> oh <Sorry>. no! <laughs> I, I, oh, does I, that mean I, the rich has to try the French accent? I don't think <laughs> it's supposed to be French. I I think I went through several continents actually. Uh, yeah. I heard Brummy and French. Uh, I uh, thought it was more South. Points. Yeah, I thought it was more South African. There was but... some South African in there. Yes, um, there was uh, there was a, a great many there was a great many lineages uh, in that particular <laughs> uh, character. Um, it, uh, it, I, I, don't, I have no control over where my characters come from. Um, that, that should be clear by now. They, they go, long they go, and storied history. They go, they go where they, they go where they wish. Yep. Right. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. 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 So. Um. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. 
Right, this is weird because I can't hear anything. <laughs> the music right. is on. Do not I've worry. Stopped I've, I've stopped it now. Um, right, so... So, thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us on this stream. Thank you, uh, newcomers and uh, old comers. Um, uh, we will be get returning for the final, hopefully the fucking final, uh, piece of this particular one-shot that has been spread over three. Um, so, come back next week, uh, 8.30 GMT. Same TNT time, same TNT channel. Uh, as mentioned before, the uh, maps in this uh, game were used using assets from forbidden, uh, for, from forgotten adventures. The program used was a Dungeon Draft. Music was by Kevin McLeod and me. Uh, don't forget to check us out on all the socials. We are TNT Nerds on everything: Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Apart from Instagram, where we are TNT underscore Nerds. Um, I believe that is everything, unless anyone has anything they wish to say. Uh, nah. Nah, uh, in that case, uh, I, I draw this to a close. Oh, did I just hear... I heard something. Oh, no, I missed it now because I accidentally just closed roll 20 because I am inept. Nads <laughs> just wrote nah, which I think means no. So Nah. Right, in that case, uh, I draw this uh, fast to a close. Thank you very much for coming, everybody. And remember, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Catch you later, guys. Uh, Bye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.